Hello again. Welcome back to Stories with Henrietta and Jared. I'm going to read another story from Mika and Ruka, my nieces. Um, this one is called Time for Bed, Miyuki, and it's written by Roxanne Marie Gallis, I think, and illustrated by Sang Soon Rotten Ratnaban. I'm not always great at pronouncing names, so I apologize if I said that incorrectly. But I love books with beautiful artwork, so I can't wait to read this one with you. Make sure I'm on the first page. Yep. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest. Ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? Mm, that's a big frog in a wooden bucket. <gasps> Miyuki is busy playing and trying to push back time. Grandfather is trying to get her to go to bed. Miyuki, it's time for bed. Not yet, Grandfather. Look, the sun hasn't set yet, and I still have so much to do. What do you have to do that cannot wait until tomorrow, Miyuki? It appears Miyuki is riding on a beautiful fish kite. And there's a big old beetle flying behind her. Why, I must prepare for the arrival of the dragonfly queen, Miyuki said. She chose our garden to visit tomorrow, and she will bring her entire court. Her entire court, Grandfather asked. Yes, it's a very big deal. Can you please help me make a canopy to honor her there, under the cherry tree? Miyuki asked politely. All right, my Miyuki, and then it's time for bed. So Grandfather helped Miyuki make a canopy fit for a queen with fallen leaves, three twigs, and a poppy. Those are called koi, correct? I like those. <gasps> Miyuki, it's time for bed. But Grandfather, I must water my vegetables. All right, Miyuki, Grandfather sighed. Water your vegetables, and then it's time for bed. Miyuki watered her carrots, turnips, radishes, and everything else she could reach. How many times did Miyuki go from the well to the garden? Even Grandfather stopped counting. Oh, she's walking on pencils. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete and your vegetable garden is watered. It's time for bed. Grandfather, I cannot sleep now, Miyuki cried. I must gather the whole snail family together. If they are not gathered together, I will not be able to sleep. So Grandfather helped Miyuki look for the snails and led them all home. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a cat with a bird on its paw. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. It's time for bed. But Grandfather, I can't stop now. It's a cold night and I won't be able to fall asleep if I haven't covered up the cat. Mika and Ruka have a kitty cat named Luna. She's very cute. Patiently, Grandfather waited as Miyuki covered up their cat with a warm blanket. It looks like she knit it first and then put the cat in it. Oh, they're dancing. Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. It's time for bed. Oh, Grandfather, we must dance the last dance of the day to thank the sun for shining so nicely. So Grandfather and Miyuki danced and then... Miyuki yawned. <sighs> Miyuki, the canopy for the queen is complete. Your vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. And we dance the last dance of the day. It's time for bed, Grandfather said wearily. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Miyuki's eyes were growing heavy, but there was still work to be done. Grandfather, I cannot go to bed until I've bathed and brushed my hair. And what will the stars say if I am not in my best pajamas when they visit me? <coughs> Excuse me, I have a little tickle. So Grandfather prepared Miyuki's bath, brushed her hair, and laid out her best pajamas for her to wear. Then Miyuki yawned again, and Grandfather yawned too. Miyuki, 
The canopy for the queen is complete. The vegetable garden is watered. The snails are gathered. The cat is covered. We dance the last dance of the day. You're bathed and brushed and dressed. It's time for bed. This time, Miyuki didn't argue. She took grandfather's hand and followed him. Grandfather tucked Miyuki into bed and kissed her on the forehead. Grandfather, she whispered, we forgot to do something very important. I know, Miyuki, I have not forgotten. I will tell you a story. Grandfather opened a book and began to read. With a rain of gold on silver hills, the sun offers its last light before leaving for the night. The nightingale prepares her nest, ants gather their provisions, and the toad jumps into a bucket. As the sun slowly hides to watch the moon rise, the bell tower sounds the hour of rest. But where is Miyuki? <coughs> Miyuki has gone to sleep. Thanks for reading. Good night.